Hello viewers, my name is Pushpam and today I am going to show you how to make tab layout with the swap activity. Basically tab layout are two types. One is fixed and second one is scrollable. Fixed tab layout can contain minimum number of two element and maximum number of six element. If you want to use more than six element, you can go with the scrollable tab layout. Android gives you more flexibility with the scrollable tab layout. So let's take a look what we gonna achieve in this video. This is our target app. Your activity and your tab both are visible and both are connected. When you swap your activity, your tab will also gonna change and when you click on any tab, your activity will also gonna change. And one more thing, your tab is a scrollable tab because it contains more than six elements. This tutorial is all about building the same app. So let's start with the coding. Open Android Studio. Once you open your Android Studio, create a new project. Click File, New, New Project. Give the application name. I am giving demo tab layout. Leave the package name default. And click next. Select minimum SDK. I am selecting ice cream sandwich. And click next. Select empty activity. Click next. Finish. Android Studio creating your project. Once you create your project, go to the build.gradle file and add two dependency. Without adding this dependency, you cannot able to create this file, this project. Android Studio giving you error if you try without adding this dependency. After adding this dependency, synchronize this synchronize. Gradle build running. Once you add your dependency, your setup will done for this project then you go to the layout folder and create a new resource file because i'm using custom toolbar so if you don't know how to create custom toolbar please go and check my playlist about the custom toolbar and give the name for the resource file toolbar main and click OK. Change the linear layout into toolbar because I'm adding toolbar into my activity. So root element change into toolbar and use support library for toolbar. It may be used lower version of Android. So please use support library. And remove all unwanted thing just like orientation. And set height into wrap content. Give the background color background color color primary and go to the activity main XML file 
go to the text tab and you see, first you see your you see your default toolbar is appear so i'm going to first remove this toolbar set no action bar and then go to activity main dot xml file and you see your toolbar is disappear that means no default toolbar is in your project so i'm adding my own toolbar that's why include your file layout my file name is toolbar toolbar underscore main give the id id equal to plus id name i'm giving name app bar and close this in close this tab and now go to the design tab and you see toolbar will appear but it's not looking good because because the padding is appear in this file remove all the padding go to the design tab and you see your tab is looking good first change i'm gonna change this color if you don't know how to change the color then go to check check my playlist uh, about the toolbar color choose color what what is good for you what you want store color is totally depend on depend on you and add your tab layout now this is this is our target creating tab layout so i'm adding one child into relative layout under the relative layout giving the width match parent height set height web content give the id adding tab underscore layout set background color tab mode gravity everything everything is fine set first you see your no tab is appear in your design tab so background color is color primary tab mode equal to scrollable if you if you want to fix tab then change scrollable into fixed tab mode gravity equal to center if you two you have two options center or fill you can choose any one and you see your tab mode is looking good in the next video i'm gonna show you how to add element in this tab layout